Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're going to show you how to prime the EcoTank cartridges or dampers, and also we're going to show you how to convert it to a sublimation. Yes, we'll do a two-in-one. Uh, we're in the lab, so there will be some noises in the background. Hey guys, it's Abby here. Today we'll be working on this Echo Tank, and I'm going to be showing how to uh, try to fix your Echo Tank before just calling it a dud. So if your echo tank is printing out some pages and you're getting some broken lines, uh, I'll show you what you can try to do. So first I had to take off that white plastic cover covering these ink cartridges and I just had to take off that one screw. So here I'm taking this syringe and the black cartridge already had a lot of um, ink already pulled through but as you can see this blue cartridge doesn't have a lot of ink so when i want to pull the blue i have to open on that far right side i have to pull that blue ink um that all those blue tabs on the top i have to open that blue tab when i'm for whatever cartridge corresponding so here i am i'm pulling the blue ink all the way through the tubes uh, up through the ink cartridges and this way I can get ink from the ink tank to the cartridges. And as you can see, the red, or the magenta, I'm sorry, also is pretty low. So again, I have to open up the tab on the right-hand side. And I'm just pulling some magenta through. And those look good. Now same with the yellow. I just need to pull some yellow through. You have to open up that yellow tab on the far right side. And now here I am plugging all of my cartridges back in. I always find it hard to plug any of them back in. Um, you kind of just have to leave them all out until you're ready to put them back in. You can see that little white tab notch will slide into a hole uh, more so at the top middle on that left side. And then we can just screw that screw back in to hold that cover down. All right, so now that we have all of the ink pulled back through to the top cartridges, I'm gonna run a cleaning procedure on it. That first one still had some broken lines and didn't print out through all the way, so I'm gonna run a second cleaning procedure on it. I sped this part of it up. It takes a little bit longer, but I didn't think anybody would wanna watch this. It still takes a little bit of a while. Then we'll print out our page. This time we did get a lot of black on there. We got a lot of good color. And so you can see I got all my color on there. I got a good page. So now I'm gonna go ahead and switch to sublimation ink. I'm just following my procedure again of taking off that top white cover. I'll pull out my black this time, open up my blue top cover to the black, and I will take my syringe and I fast forwarded this part too because it takes a while. Now I'm sucking out all of the ink. Now that I know that I have a good um, cleaning on my print head, I'm going to suck out all the ink from all the cartridges. That way I can refill it with sublimation ink. Okay, so here I am putting the black sublimation ink in. If you can see through that plexiglass forms type stuff, um, that gray shadowy area, it was empty and now you can see the black is starting to fill it up. Just move the camera back a little bit, but we do sell these bottles and I'm switching to the blue and the blue will fill up and then I'll switch to the magenta and the yellow once I fill them all up with sublimation ink. If you picked up where we're kind of going with this in the first process, now that I filled that up, I'm going to take my syringe again, pop open that cover on the right side to the black corresponding, and I'm going to pull some of the sublimation ink through. Uh, I don't have to pull it all. Uh, I'm not trying to suck all the ink through. I'm just trying to pull enough ink to get into the cartridges. Uh, as you can see, there's still some ink, but you can see some of the sublimation ink in there. I just try to shake it up to mix it in with some of the ink. You can kind of see the different color in the yellow 
versus the regular sublimation ink, yellow ink versus the regular yellow ink. So that's just where I'm trying to shake that up to get them combined and mixed together for when I'm printing. And then I'm just going to pop those back in correctly. Put that uh, top cover back on. And I did forget to shoot. Um, I ended up taking pictures, but I forgot to shoot the final printing check. But I got a good clean nozzle check again with the sublimation ink. So this one is ready to go and sell. Uh, happy printing!